Good morning, folks. I um, it's so funny how this happens. I woke up this morning with a with you know having done my post yesterday, basically on creativity and how you know this this analogy we often draw between creativity and giving birth. You know how the kind of creative projects have like a gestation period and a birthing process and how we don't we're not surprised when human birth is difficult but we're somehow surprised when creativity uh, is difficult or a, or a piece or a project has is is tough to give birth to um, and I, I think I was affirming that there can be a there can be a fair amount of difficulty in that process without anything being wrong in the creative in the creative realm um, but hilariously or you know sort of fittingly I guess what came through this morning was almost the opposite not the opposite but a, a kind of qualifier of that which is that um, in creativity and again like I am not a woman I will never know what it's like to give birth I can't even really speak to the experience other than having witnessed it um, but I, but in the creative, on the creative side of the coin, there's a way in which the labor can be very enjoyable and, and, and actually doesn't need to be stressful even. It, it's, I think, you know, that's where you get into the, the challenges of creative work. You'll often bump up against your own, your own issues and, and um, patterns blockages, pain, trauma, things that things that are in in ourselves, just habits of thought or, you know, ways that we feelings of unworthiness, feelings of whatever, those are the things that really kind of get activated when we're when we're uh, in the, in the thick of it. And we kind of just have to know to keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep and it's it, sometimes those things will resolve themselves because the creative work demands it. Other times you just kind of have to put your head down and and do the work anyway, even though that feeling is there. But I woke up this morning and I have this, I have a quote by Goethe that I have, it's on my morning formula, which is something I got from my business incubator. It's basically a kind of a set of things that I've written out for myself that I read every morning. It kind of sets up my day, puts me in a great mindset, reminds me of some of the principles that I'm honoring in my life and whatnot. And one of the ones that I have under principles is this quote by Goethe. And it's it was really kind of speaking to me this morning. It, it I've been thinking about this event that's coming up now tomorrow with Kyle. You know, we're diving in, we're doing another run this morning. So we're, we're basically there. And I read this quote and it had, a, it, it spawned a couple of thoughts for me. It's, it's, it says this, I'm reading it in English. Until one is committed, there's hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. That the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issue from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance, which no man could have dreamed would have come his way. Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, magic, and power in it. Begin it now. And I found that today, there's a kind of a cool story that was was that just flashed for me as I was reading this, but... There was, as I was reading this today, I, I realized, oh, as soon as I internally make the commitment, it's, it's, and of course I've committed to this event already, like it's been on the books for weeks, but there's an internal orientation of I am committed to this that just takes all stress away. It literally, it, it, it's like I go from hoping that somebody or something will give me something that will make it okay into just being completely here and giving myself and knowing that anything that I do is is right everything that I do is right it's a it's a an incredible kind of like change in orientation and literally this morning just reading this quote and then just kind of thinking 
commitment, the making that internal sense of of, uh, of a shift into just committing, it just changed so much in my mindset. And I realize as I'm reading this, there's also something really kind of, you know, it's almost like the matrix because I, my the first time I met Kyle, it was on a one-on-one -on -one that was, that came after my first, well, it was my first retreat with him. It was my second one, but, um, and I had a coach, my Tony Robbins coach had asked me, you know, she, she asked me for the retreat, what's your outcome? And I was like, don't get all Tony Robbins outcomey with me. I'm going on a spiritual retreat with Kyle Cease. This is about spirituality. I don't need an outcome. But then I sat, but, the, but I didn't, you know, I, luckily I didn't, you know, take that, take myself too seriously. I sat down and, and did a little, like one page took 20 minutes and just wrote down, okay, what's my outcome for this retreat? And I realized, you know, of course, with a spiritual retreat, the idea is to really be present and available for what's coming through and not to be trying to manipulate the outcome by, you know, like I'm going to manifest a million dollars by the end of the retreat or any, you know, you don't want to like stress out about what you're trying to do. But, but I re also realized, oh, there are actually some tangible things that I'd like to uh, that I that I can that I can really get behind and that and that really feel important and that this time where I really have some internal some time to go inside uh, I can really honor these things by doing that. One of them was like some male friends that I really resonate with. Um, one of them was to simply open myself up to Kyle and the group and um, communicate and and communicate my enthusiasm and my love for this work. Uh, one of them was a couple of business opportunities that are in alignment with my with what feels like this deep calling that I have. Well, every one of those things came true on that retreat. Every one of those things happened and every one of those things came true. Then I had a one-on-one -on -one with Kyle a week or so later and my Tony Robbins coach asked me the same thing. She was like, well, what's your outcome? And I was like, outcome, outcome, outcome. And then I did it and I and I... And I was like, it was, I was like, the only thing I can think of, I was like, I'm already kind of set. Like I've, I've got my meditation practice. I feel like my life is totally oriented in the way I want it to be oriented. I don't know what my outcome is for Kyle. I want to work with Kyle. That's what I want. I want, I want to work with Kyle. That's, that would, that's my outcome. And, and again, my mind was like, yeah, but what? That's not even a thing. Like, how do you, you know, you're getting a one on, you're getting one, one on one with him. Well, Five minutes into that one-on-one, -on -one, Kyle was like, hey, do you want to be my piano teacher? You want to teach me piano lesson every day for 100 days? I'm going to pay you to hang out with me every day for 100 days. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> this outcome thing is real, you know? So that's literally the event that I'm that is happening tomorrow is literally the outgrowth of that. And so when I read something like, a whole stream of events issue from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance, which no man could have dreamed would have come his way. Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. I'm just brought, I'm like, I'm just brought back to that place of like, you know, reverence for what it really means to commit to something and to 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 take seriously the impulses that are that are actually driving us, you know, that we we all have these impulses. We all know what we're really about. Taking that seriously and committing to it is like it's just. I mean, I'm I'm just finding that so much is happening from that. So much is bubbling into the world through me, and and I'm finding myself in circumstances that you know three months ago I would have hardly dared to dream. So. Um, that's where I am today. That's, it's, uh, yeah, check out, check out Goethe. He's a good one. Love you all. Um, so grateful that you're in my life. I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Bye-bye.